Greetings to you all and welcome to the lesson. I am back to continue with the study of uh, the chapter in advanced taxation known as uh, tax systems and policies. Today we'll be winding up the chapter. So far we've covered the first subtopic which is the uh, types of uh, tax systems. In our first lesson we studied the types of tax systems and in the second lesson we explained the role of taxation in economic development. We also looked at the how to expand the tax base of uh, a tax system, expansion of tax base. We also covered efficiency in the tax systems. We studied what uh, it entails, how to um, put in place measures to ensure that uh, the tax system is efficient. Then we highlighted the or outlined the design of a tax policy. We explained how a tax policy can be designed. We gave the uh, different uh, stages in the process of uh, designing a tax policy. In the fourth subtopic, we covered criteria for evaluation of tax system. We studied how to evaluate a tax system. Then in our last session, we took time to um, highlight the various uh, tax reforms that have taken place in Kenya under various acts of parliament. Then we uh, highlighted the modernization of uh, the initiatives that the Kenya Revenue Authority has taken in the process of modernizing the tax system. In our today's lesson, our attention will be on the KRA structure with the um, uh, focus on the large taxpayer and the medium taxpayer organizations. We know that the Kenya Revenue Authority has a structured organizational framework that divides taxpayers into two main categories, the large taxpayers and the medium taxpayers the large taxpayers and the medium taxpayers. And this categorization allows for tailored services. Allows for what? Allows for tailored services that KRA advances or, or gives to the taxpayers. It allows for tailored service delivery and efficient tax administration based on the specific needs based on the specific complexities of each large or each segment all right or each segment taxpayer segment there are two segments that's what we are going to study today and in studying the two segments we're going to look at the key functions of the uh, large tax uh, uh, payers organizations and also the the medium tax payers organization. So the Kenya Revenue Authority, I've said, has a structure that categorizes taxpayers. All right? It divides taxpayers into two main categories, the large taxpayers and the medium taxpayers. So let's first of all begin with the large taxpayers. Large taxpayer office. So KRA, KRA has an office known as large, large taxpayers office. The large taxpayers office. The large taxpayers office candidates is the office within KRA that um, um, is responsible for maintaining the tax affairs of large corporations, including multinationals. These are multi it's an office that 
provide services to multinationals, uh, to uh, listed companies, listed companies. Okay, these are large corporations or any other entity within with significant revenue or turnover multinationals listed companies and any other listed company or any other organizations with the large turnover or revenues significant revenues so the office the large taxpayer office offers what we call dedicated services it offers expertise to these taxpayers ensuring that their tax obligations are met effectively and efficiently so let's look at the key functions of this office what are the key functions of the large taxpayer office what are the key functions of the large taxpayer function what are the key functions of the large taxpayer office? The large taxpayer office. The first one is to do with the risk assessment. Task, tax risk assessment and management. Tax risk assessment and management this involves conducting in-depth risk assessments to identify and mitigate tax risks associated with large taxpayers another key function tax audits tax audits related to audits we have investigations tax audits and investigations tax audits and investigations this involves conducting comprehensive audits and investigations of large taxpayers to ensure compliance with tax laws to ensure compliance with regulations three transfer pricing analysis this is another function of the large taxpayer office transfer pricing analysis this involves analyzing transfer pricing arrangements between related party entities within multinational corporations to ensure adherence to international tax principles tax transfer pricing analysis four tax planning and advisory now tax planning and advisory services and advisory services entails providing tax planning and advisory services to the large taxpayers in order to help them optimize their tax positions and manage their tax liabilities effectively so these are the key functions of the large taxpayers office within the kenya revenue authority structure then let's study the medium term medium taxpayers office medium taxpayers office medium taxpayers office medium taxpayers office now the medium taxpayers office serves the medium sized businesses it serves the medium sized medium sized entities 
the large taxpayers office serves large multinationals and listed companies and any other entity that has significant turnover or significant revenue the medium term taxpayer uh, medi the medium taxpayers office on the other hand serves medium sized entities it serves the medium sized entities or businesses with a moderate level of revenue or turnover moderate with moderate turnover or revenue moderate turnover or revenue so the medium taxpayers office provides a range of services to support these taxpayers these medium-sized entities so that they can comply with tax laws so that they can meet their tax obligations and so that they can manage their tax matters effectively so what are the key functions functions of this office what are the key functions of the medium taxpayers office the first function is tax registration and compliance tax registration and compliance is the first key function of the medium taxpayers office this involves facilitating tax registration tax filing and also tax payment processes for medium taxpayers two tax education and awareness tax education and awareness this means providing tax education and awareness programs to medium taxpayers to enhance their understanding of tax laws to understand the understanding of tax regulations the third key function of medium taxpayers office is tax audit and investigations tax audits and investigations conducting tax audits and investigations of uh, the medium taxpayers uh, uh, organizations when necessary and also to ensure compliance with tax laws for tax dispute resolution tax dispute resolution this means assisting medium taxpayers in uh, resolving tax disputes with the Kenya Revenue Authority through mediation and through other dispute resolution mechanisms so these are four key functions of the medium taxpayers office we've identified four functions of the large taxpayers office so candidates this is in a brief the KRS structure with special reference to the two offices the large taxpayers office and the medium taxpayers office these are dedicated offices for the large taxpayers and medium taxpayers which reflects the recognition that different taxpayer segments have unique needs and require specialized expertise and this is an approach taken by KRA that aims to enhance the efficiency and the effectiveness of tax administration ensuring that all taxpayers receive the support they need to comply with tax laws and contribute to Kenya's revenue base 
So with that, we come to the end of this lesson. I'm going to give you today's division questions. Number one, compare and contrast the functions and responsibilities of large taxpayer and medium taxpayer organizations within the KRA structure. How do they contribute differently to tax administration? Number two, discuss the challenges faced by large taxpayer organizations in managing compliance and tax collection compared to medium taxpayer organizations. Number three, how does the structure and operation of these taxpayer organizations impact the efficiency and effectiveness of taxpayer administration in Kenya? Number four, explain the strategies employed by tax authorities in managing and balancing the needs of large and medium taxpayers, ensuring fair treatment and compliance across both groups. These are four revision questions. Ensure you attempt the questions. I hope to meet you in the next session and continue sharing knowledge in taxation. Bye-bye.